Hi, this is Joe Day Sarvi. Welcome to week five of your triathlon training series on the Total Gym. Today, we're going to focus on compound exercises. At this stage in your training, you might find that you're starting to increase your number of reps and you might find that you're sort of short on time because you're also increasing your mileage in your bike, your swim, and your run. So, the idea of compound exercises is to save you time, but it also is going to work multiple areas of your body. It's going to burn more calories, and it'll help make your workouts a little more efficient. Your workouts should not last usually more than 30 minutes at a time. The first exercise we're going to do is called the kneeling uh, fly with a trunk rotation. So you're going to need to hook up your cable pulley, grab the handles, knuckle down on the board, and you're not going to sit down. You're going to come up to a kneeling position. This position is a little bit unstable, so use some caution here. Take your arms and extend them in front of you and contract your core, tuck your tailbone under. You're going to take a big breath in and as you exhale, you're going to rotate your body and open your chest at the same time. Exhale and turn and then come back to center. Do the other side. Exhale, turn. Your gaze should follow the direction of your hand. As you're pulling the cable, your body is moving up and down the rails. So the higher you are in the incline on the column there, the harder this is going to be. Do as many reps as you can, 12 to 15 to start, about three sets, and you'll be done with that. The next exercise I'd like to do is the um, toe touch with the bicep curl. So knuckle down again, take your feet off, sit all the way back on the board so that your legs are completely on the glide board. Sitting up nice and tall, the bicep curl is going to be with the arms at the, at the um, shoulder height. As you extend, then you're going to lean forward with your face towards your legs. Try to keep your legs straight, but if you have really tight hamstrings, you might want to have knees bent. That way your, your chest will come closer to your thighs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. As your body gets a little warmed up, you'll find that you'll be able to reach farther. The place that you're reaching out of is, is uh, at the hip. So try not to round your spine. Try to flatten your back as much as possible. Lean forward. Keep your head in line with your spine as much as you can. As you exhale, come up with the bicep curl. Again, 12 to 15 reps, three sets of these. Moving on, you're going to do the back and tricep extension. So knuckle down. This position is a laying down position here. So all the way down in the prone position. Head supported on the glide board. Arms are going to come straight. This is the start position right here. If you're tall, you might find that you need your legs bent right here. If you're short, you might be able to do it with legs straight. Arms come back by your side. So remember, you're working your tricep. Take a big breath in. First, you're going to do a back extension. So here, you're lifting your chest, squeezing your glutes, pressing your hips into your glide board. As you exhale, you slide down the glide board here. Your head and spine come back to neutral position, and your arms are bent. Big inhale, exhale. Straighten the arms. Lift into a back extension. Come back down and do your tricep extension. If it bothers your back to come into that back extension right here, just don't come up as high. You can do a much smaller back extension, just squeezing your shoulder blades together, coming up a little bit less. And remember, don't let your arms go straight. Bring them right to bench position here, and then extend them behind you to work your triceps. For the incline push-up, make sure that the cable is unhooked from the glide board and come to the end of the glide board. 
There are two different ways of doing an incline push-up. The first way is in a supported position where the glide board doesn't move. This is good for beginners where you just step back and the glide board is completely supported against the stoppers and you do your push-ups here. You can also do these on your knees. Those are for beginners. For advanced push-ups, you move the glide, the glide board up the rails all the way until you step onto the end crossbar for support here. Your feet can be wide or narrow, it really doesn't matter. But the idea here is to keep your wrists, your elbows, and your shoulders in alignment. Tuck in your, uh, your belly button, suck it all the way in. You can lift your butt a little bit in the air if you need to, but try to get your body as plank-like as possible before you bend the elbows in your push-up. Big breath in, exhale push. Do about 12 reps, 12 to 15, three sets, and you'll be done with the incline push-up. The leg press with the incline ab crunch requires that you use the leg pull accessory. Attach it to the <coughs> column on the hooks. Make sure that the bottom ring attaches to the glide board, and the top carabiner is going to attach to the foot harness which I've already put on my ankle. Take a seat, move the glide board up the rails. The other cable with the carabiner attaches to the foot harness which I already put on my foot. Put one foot on the floor, the other foot is on top of the glide board. Hook the carabiner on. Make sure you keep your cable in your hand so it doesn't get tangled up in the rails or anywhere else. Go ahead and lay back so that your whole head is resting on your glide board. Take the leg and straighten it in front of the other foot. Comes up on the glide board now that you're positioned with your whole body on the glide board. Bend the knee, press the foot in right here. Now the leg is going to come straight up. As you bend your knee, you're going to do a crunch. So you're pressing here with the foot and you're doing a crunch as your knee comes to 90 degrees. Exhale here, inhale. 12 to 15 reps, more if you have it in you. Three sets and you're done with this combination move of the ab crunch with the leg press. For this week's cyclo trainer workout, you're going to need to increase the intensity a little bit. So raise the glide board on the column at least one level compared to last week's workout and increase the uh, level of intensity on your cyclo trainer. Attach the cyclo trainer to your uh, glide board and go ahead and sit down. Start with your warm up with the glide board in the supported position. So make sure that you're doing your warm up and the glide board is down, your leg has got a slight uh, bend at the knee. Warm up for just you know three minutes comfortably resting here. Get the blood moving. And when you're ready to, to work out, go ahead and change the level to the a little bit higher than you did last week. Set all the time and distance and speed and push start so you can get going. Now, the idea here is we're going to be interspersing the unsupported position with the hip lifted position. So we're going to do five seconds down here, and this is your rest position, with 25 seconds in the hip lifted position. Remember, it's not so much a pressing down into the foot as much as it is concentrating on the muscles of your thigh. So, pedal here for five seconds in rest position, and then lift your hips and pedal for 25 seconds. When you do enough sets of these to complete four minutes, you're done with your high intensity interval training. And that's it.